Run AI model catalog is a, is a set of open source large language models optimized by Run AI, uh, built for scale and easy to deploy, all in favor of having uh, organizations on one hand experiment fast on their uh, cloud or on-prem infrastructure, uh, but on the other end, uh, ensuring that crucial metrics like costs, uh, performance, and SLA are kept uncompromised or as we like to call it, uh, from the community to your playground with uh, Run AI enhancements and guardrails. So in Run AI, you will now have the ability to deploy in a single click a whole LLM deployment on your Kubernetes cluster. And it contains everything. Everything you need, starting from the actual Docker image, the model itself, the checkpoint it needs to use. The, uh, it has even a web application, web UI to communicate with the model. Of course, you can communicate it through APIs, but for your own usage, you can even use the web application. And all of this through the Run AI portal in a single click. The Run AI LLM catalog is how Run AI users and consumers can deploy state-of-the-art LLMs easily. Okay, so the, the LLM feature is about helping uh, developers and AI teams to quickly and easily um, deploy large language models in their own internal cluster. Okay, so basically our catalog uh, contains several um, uh, large language models uh, like the, the more popular ones, and we packaged everything together in order to make the experience very quick and easy. So we, our environments contain the model and weights themselves, the uh, LLM server, we use VLLM, and also the chatbot application. So you get everything really quickly just by deploying the, the model you select. Mm, so yeah, we, uh, we worked on something called LLM catalog. Uh, in Run AI product, um, which is basically giving the opportunity to teams, AI teams, to start checking out the open source models. Um, so again, in the talks, uh, people were also mentioning like, don't look at the benchmarks that much. Uh, you just need to get your hands dirty on the models because you never know on which data those benchmarks uh, are done uh, at, so it might be a anything, it might be even test data, and normally you don't use test data for evaluation. Um, uh, you don't use test data for uh, training, sorry. Uh, so you never know what they use, so you need to check out yourself um, and see how they are performing, right? And you need to do that super quickly so that you can decide, okay, this model looks cool, let's work on this one, and the other consideration is data. If you are using uh, some API calls to, to check out how the uh, model is performing, you are basically sharing data and the enterprises don't like that that much because you might also share some sensitive information with third parties. Um, so we started seeing this uh, in the enterprises and created LLM catalog. Uh, which is basically a couple of clicks. You can deploy uh, an open source model from Hugging Face super quickly and check it out by yourself. All the data stays in, in, in the house, uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, which server, which engine to use. We have a benchmarking on that as well, so feel, feel free to check it out. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna accelerate the process of experimentation um, and uh, hands-on experience uh, in our opinion, uh, um, very much. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited uh, how it's gonna evolve in the future as well. We are working on it. It's, this is just a start. <laughs>
which technologies we wanted to use. In our case, we used Kubernetes, we used Docker images, we used VLLM in order to actually run the model. VLLM is deploying through OpenAI API, and we took advantage of that. So building the Docker image, which will actually work when you deploy the LLM, was my part. We decided we want to give, uh, as a first step, accessibility to Llama models and also to Falcon models in all sizes. So building the actual Docker images, which contained the weights, that was the challenge, because delivering, downloading, performing all the Docker build on such a large scale um, was uh, the thing that we first struggled about. Um, <clears throat> so this is about the assets. The way we select the models that enter the running eye catalog is by always learning and following the world what's coming out. And every time that there is a new model out there, we want to bring it into our catalog right away. The research that we did before creating the LLM catalog included both theoretical research. We really wanted to understand how LLMs work, as well as hands-on research with the state-of-the-art um, services and applications out there for LLMs. So we experimented with many different LLM engines and servers because we wanted to pick the best configurations and the best collection of LLMs and integrated it into our product. Um, also, we are working on integrating with re repositories like Hugging Face, so you'll be able to choose um, your preferred LLM and just deploy it. The huge research going on in the, uh, uh, in the background, uh, so it's not only us pushing some models to the production with a couple of clicks, it's not just the UI. Um, so it has been uh, brewing for a while uh, now. And um, yeah, I, I think I can't talk too much since the other stuff is not there, but uh, we have more cool uh, features coming up uh, to ease up all of the processes, um, all of the challenges that we see right now with uh, LLM deployment, because those models are huge. You need to orchestrate them well, you need to load them very quickly, auto scale, everything basically. We are working on it. It has been some time though, uh, multiple months uh, to be here. Uh, but yeah, we are still brewing. <laughs> so we just chose a few of them as a start, like the more popular ones, the more, uh, the, the models that can also fit in common GPUs, like in terms of memory uh, requirements. But the actual point is that uh, we, we built our own uh, infrastructures and models such that it will be very easy for us to add new models to the catalog as soon as they uh, go out. End-to-end um, -end, uh, -end support uh, for the entire LLM initiative. Uh, this means uh, quick experimentation, uh, easily auto-scale deployment with a short start time to any, any model, any community model, um, to fine-tuning models and pipeline uh, vector databases for uh, retrieval augmented generation use cases, so we can have your model master a specific domain. And in addition, uh, perce perceiving the LLM as another important shareable resource of the organization uh, by democratizing th the access to it, but also allowing uh, managers to set uh, token quotas and weight limits to ensure the uh, fair usage across uh, different, different consumers. Uh, we've got a lot of things uh, coming to you, so uh, stay tuned. Yeah, so I think the future of the LLM in Run AI is, is going to be amazing. There are many things we want to do. There are many things that we are currently working, starting from performance improvement, it's very difficult today to manage LLMs. They're taking so long to actually be starting running, to load the model. And in this gap, we're going to give a really great value of improving the performance on loading models. 
but that's not all, but that's not all of all of it we are going even to bring and give new features that are related to cluster management which is a very big gap today of managing llms think about it today you have the ability to deploy a model a single model on your cluster but what happens when you need to scale it up scale it down you want to scale to zero you want to scale from zero all of these managements there are things that are very unoptimized in terms of resource utilization and we are going to solve them so i think the future um, consists of several things first of all is the ease of deployment of um, of LLMs from a very large number of options and alternatives out there, uh, as well as custom LLMs that you trained yourselves. In addition to that, we, we are bringing optimizations into the LLM clusters. For example, caching, prefetching, weight management, access management, quota management, and many other things. So eventually, when you will run an LLM cluster using Run AI, you will you will get the benefit of all these optimizations transparently behind the scenes. Uh, actually, we, we keep looking and asking ourselves what our customers need, and we are mostly focused on performance and auto scaling. So uh, we want to have the best uh, throughput and latencies. Um, such that uh, we utilize the GPU in the maximal level. That's what we do in Run AI. Uh, we are also approaching the, uh, the problem of cold start, where we want to have uh, a new replica spinning up very quickly, like in seconds instead of uh, minutes. That will allow us also to, uh, to support scale to zero, where you have no GPUs uh, in use when there's no traffic to the LLM and then you spin up the in your replica very quickly upon your request. So these are the areas uh, we're looking for overall when the AI teams that use Run AI can uh, choose whatever mod model they, they want to from Hugging Face. They know it, it is going to have high throughput, low latency, utilize the GPU in maximal way and auto scale according to the, to the demand uh, is going to be our uh, close roadmap.